Edgar, you're a smart ass. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Just figured I'd uh, play around a little bit in Car Mechanic Simulator today, 21, 2021. I've been having a lot of fun in the game. I have progressed pretty darn far, mostly just because I wanted people to see a different side of the game because all I've been seeing videos on is people doing the same old, same old crap. Like, it's like, oh, look, he can do like five story cars and be done with it. Like, I mean, I don't know. So I figured I'd want to show a different side of things. So today my plan is to be doing some uh, barnyard hunting, some junkyard hunting and some auctions so we can rebuild some junker cars and make big profits. So, guys, yeah, give me a minute. I'll just get the game fired up and started in this wonderful, wonderful game. Ooh. Hope you guys are all doing well, though. Yeah, yeah, you. Yeah. I said, I have been loving this game, though. I've played it a little too much, if I'm honest. Ugh. Gotta organize my stuff here, sorry. I pressed start once and it changed my life. <laughs> well, how you doing today, Melted? Hope you're doing well. If the game is too loud, just let me know, please. Yeah, as I said, it's, um, I've progressed pretty far. So I've already basically maxed it all out. So I literally have everything that you can possibly get in the workshop. Then here you got our engine stand, a brake lathe, parts table, repair table, body. Out here is a paint booth and the test facility. We got our paint booth, our test path here where we can do vehicle alignments. I don't know what's up with that, man. Hang on a second. Hang on, I'm just double checking something real quick. Yeah, tell me know let me know if that's better, Edgar. So I honestly have no idea what's been going on with Streamlabs. Uh Alright, what do you guys think? What do you think we should start out with? Should we go to the junkyard? Should we go to the auction? Should we go to a barn? You guys let me know what you want to see. Because I'm down for whatever. I've saved up enough that we can buy pretty much like $100,000 worth of a car. Roughly. Go to the junkyard. I'm down. I like going to the junkyard. Let's see if we can get lucky and find something good. Uh, there's a Bolt Atlanta. I've already built one of those. It doesn't make a lot of profit. How you doing, Paula? Welcome, welcome. Is there anything good? No. Uh, I can work with these. Oh, 
Well, it looks like we got a Chevelle over here. That might not be bad. Da -da -da. As I found out that I can repair anything that's in like an orange level, but if I pick up any of these red parts, I can't repair them for some reason. I don't know if that's a bug or or what, but that wouldn't be bad. I haven't built one of these yet. Oh, it's not a Chevelle. Oh, that's cool. Da -da -da. I'm gonna keep looking around just to see if there's another car before we buy that. How are you doing today, Paula? Uh, ooh, engine block. And another gearbox. Nice. Yeah, I'm doing good. Been really enjoying this game, that's for sure. That's a nice water pump. That's a part for a skyline. All right. This one wouldn't be bad. The inline six, though. Got a little bit of Firebird going on here, or a Camaro. What would you guys think about that? I'll let you guys decide what car. Man, eh, get out of here, Bitdefender. I like how it says you're always working in the background, but then you gotta pop up right in the middle of my game. Man, it's all crap today. Because technically we could buy both of those cars and rebuild them. Because they're not going to be expensive. I think both of those cars will probably be like 30 grand. Maybe. EQ37. Alrighty, melted. So yeah, we'll pick that car up. Doesn't really look like there's much else in here, so. Because if I can rebuild a lot of these parts, it'll be some good money. Yeah, it's looking like those are the only three cars here right now. Ooh, a V12 gearbox. So I'm hoping eventually that I can get all the stuff to get like my own V12 car in this game. So, all right, what do you guys think? Buy both the Camaro and the um, and the GTO slash Monte Carlo Chevelle. I don't know. To me, that looks more like a GTO. But do you guys be good with that? Buy both of those cars and rebuild them. Two thousand Toyota Corolla. <laughs> I gotta find my. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, see, 7,700. And the other one will probably be like 10 grand. Probably. Oh, 11, I was close. You 
You know what? Screw it. Why not? We're just gonna buy all three. Why not? Because once I sell the first one, I'll pretty much recuperate all my money that I spent, so... Where, where is it? Oh, there it is. So I've already built one of these before, but it's fine. How you doing, Mariah? Welcome, welcome. All right, let's head back. Yeah, 1200 bucks, cool. And I should be able to repair all of those parts and sell them for like around grand. Make a little bit of profit. Actually. Let's start out with repairing these parts real quick. Oh, cool. They added little things to it now. So now it says like plus or minus. That wasn't there yesterday. So that must have been their update today. Honestly, the most boring part. start out with the Camaro first, but actually hang on a second, I gotta turn this down a little bit. So I think I'd want to start out with the Camaro first, but I would like to make it a V8 car. That's what I'm thinking. It's like you can't have this with a with a V6. You just can't. How you doing today, Mariah? All right, let's see. Let's see what parts we can have in here. Oh, it can only have this caught. Oh, that sucks. So it can only have that in line six. That's lame. That is lame. So we might be able to save some of these parts. 
might be able to. Chat, what color do we need to go with this car? Go for a sweet red, light orange, black, ornate yellow. sure I can do that. Gold and white? I'm not sure I can do that, but I'll try. Let's see. guys think would that work for you because we can also get black too I don't think it has yellow stripes we can get this orange Unfortunately, I don't think we can change the color of the livery. Oh, you're right. That is Bumblebee, isn't it? <laughs> I was like, I don't think we can change the color of the uh, livery because it's kind of fixed, which I really hope that they allow us to modify the colors. And also go with this chameleon look, which I think is really cool. Uh, they got chrome, <laughs> metallic, matte, pearl. So we like this one, yellow with black stripes. Now time for the disassembly. Wow, there's really not much in the engine. <laughs> All right. This is going to be uh, mighty expensive. What I do is I'll usually tear down the entire car. And then from there is where we uh, basically repair all of the parts and make it brand new again. With this one being so rusty, I don't know if we can recover a lot of these parts.
I swear, the, the music in this game is just phenomenal. Like, whoever came up with this music was genius. So for everybody watching, what is your dream car? I'm just curious as to what everybody like considers their dream car. Because for me, it is a 1990 Lotus Esprit V8. Hard to say, early 90s Toyota Super would be nice. That'd be dope. I do like the early Supras. Sixty-seven Mustang. Hmm. Well, I guess in that case, the junkyard was perfect for you, huh? It was all old school muscle cars. <laughs> 69 Corvette split window. Oh. Yeah, those are becoming more and more rare. Here in Europe, we don't have them. Yeah, but muscle cars are slowly trickling over there. Slowly. So if I recall, last year was the first year that they had the, um, the Mustangs coming over there. But even then, it's not practical because you, you guys have a lot smaller streets than we do. But I did think it was cool just seeing a right-hand drive Mustang. I think the reason I love this game so much is because I do a lot of this stuff in real life, working on people's cars. So. The new ones, not the classics. Yeah, you're right. They are far and far in between over there. So funny story though, is right before I sold my Trans Am, I was trying to replace one of the O2 sensors. And I swear, I had soaked that thing in all kinds of uh, penetrating oil. We heated it up with a torch. Like we did all kinds of stuff to get that thing off and it just even had like an eight foot breaker bar and it still took like three of us to get the thing off. Uh... That's right, you saw that? I'm the strongest man ever. Or woman. Because it doesn't say what your, what your character is, so. Just picked up a whole engine all by myself.
Hey, it's currently I'm trying to level up so that I can get the better repairs. So I can do this a lot faster. Because I also think that it's weird because it says chance of instant repair like 60%. But I swear it's not 60%. I feel like it's like le like a whole lot less because it, it I think out of every like 30 parts I may get one to have an instant repair. I am a big fan of muscle though. Like, I really love muscle cars. The only downfall to them is that they, I think they're more expensive than like owning a BMW. Well, here stateside at least. Because the parts are becoming more and more like rare. So like perfect example of that was on my Trans Am. Like it cost me $400 to replace my WA fuel pump. Whereas on my TL, it's like a hundred bucks. Ah, oh, Jesus. Yeah, well, I broke that clutch disc. Hey guys, my ultimate goal in this game is I would like to save up like 300,000 and build out a supercharged Dodge Charger. I would also like to make a Turbo Skyline. Mostly because in Car Mechanic Simulator 21, they actually added um, like turbo sounds to the game. So if your car has a turbo, it makes like the little whistle sound and everything. It's pretty cool. But doing this right here saves you so much money. Because instead of paying the $200 it is to buy a new solid state axle, I can just repair it for like 60 bucks. Almost done, guys. All right. So I need to buy another break. Where's my i6? There she is.
Get all that stuff added. Yeah, this whole shopping list thing, genius. Like, when they did that update, I was like, yes. That was what Car Mechanics in 2018 was missing. All right, I'm gonna rotate the engine to make it easier. Cause that way I can work on both sides at the same time. Clutch in there. Water pump. come back for the uh, alternator and stuff because those are listed under a separate place. Ah, crap. Ah, bah, bah, bah. Pistons and piston rings. So I think we're also going to have to have push rods because it looks like this is a push rod engine. Six cylinders means we need 12 push rods. Also, probably gonna need rockers. But I don't know if it's gonna use the regular rocker arms or the V8 rocker arms. Yep, regular rocker arms. All right. Yeah, I don't know what it is, man. It's something about this just is relaxing. Because like I said, I work on cars in real life, too, and it's just... I don't know if it's just because I get to get my frustration out or what. definitely not this easy in real life. I know that much. Because each one of these, you're going to have to torque them down. And you have to go in those three stages in order to torque down your rocker arms. That way you make sure that you're not, you don't have too much pressure on your free valve springs.
All right, we also need rod caps. And crate shaft caps. Uh, I think we need five. Because the other thing I would like to see is us allowing, they're allowing us to paint like the block of our engine or something like that. Because you can get the performance stuff and it'll come painted. But it's just, I don't know. I would prefer to be able to paint it my own color. Like if I really wanted one to be like a hemi orange, you know? Same with all these journal, like the journal bearing caps. You would have to torque all these down individually. And you also got to check their tolerances. So honestly, I think it would be cool to have a torque wrench in the game. Footprint gas pedal. <laughs> Oh, I bought too many rod caps. They never will. Yeah, but one can hope. All right, ignition coil, distributor, alternator. Search six spark plugs. Oh, this is the fifth iteration. Yeah, you're right. I'm just saying, it would be nice. Because I mean, they're bringing in more and more detail with every game so far, so. Is there no belt tensioner? our completed engine. Put too much time into these games? Oh, dude, you and me both. Well, 
Oh, it looks so small in that car. I don't know why they won't let us put um, a V8 in it. Kind of a bummer. Because I think it'd be badass to have like a uh, big old beefy like supercharged V8 in here. But yeah. All right. Next, we got to decide on wheels. What wheels should we do? Oh, that'd be cool. Do it like the bandit style wheels. That'd be cool. Oh, they already have two DLCs coming tomorrow, Paul. I'd love to be able to do that in real life. I can't change the tire. Oh, well. Just takes time. Just gotta learn. Ooh, what do you guys think about these? Get the black ones. You think that would look good? Or we could go like Dodge Charger. Black looks nice. I think it would look good on the yellow. Because we could also get something like these over here, the 10 Bravos. These are the ones that come stock on the car. The roulette wheels. I don't know. I think this would look good. I just got to find out what size do we have? We're running a 14. 195, 70, 14. Yeah, it, everybody agree though? Y'all think it'll look good? I, I like those wheels. Howdy, howdy, Alex. All right. And I want to keep it vintage, so I think what I'm going to do... I want to get these tires right here. Oh, damn it. I didn't mean to do that. on break at work. Alright. Let's see. I think rebuilding the rear end would be easier. That way we can that way we can see what it looks like and see if we like it or not. Shock absorber. Two of those. We're also going to need, I think it's a total of 12 regular ru uh, rubber bushings and eight small bushings, if I remember right. New mini game? Yeah, Paul. Uh, it's for the wheel balancing. 
There's also mini games for doing repairs on um, like items and stuff. Let's see here. All right, what do you guys think? Y'all think that looks good? It was tested with the mech repair sim. Just to see. I think they've added a lot of really cool features, honestly, into this game. Oops. Um, Cause some of the few things that they changed was exam mode in like, uh, um, in 2018 was individualized, whereas this one is an overview version. Apparently, I'd already bought one. Oops. All right. Oh, I guess I have to balance them. Cause I'm gonna I'm let you guys decide. All right, cause. That's one set or a black set. As I, you guys can decide which ones we go with. In the meantime, while you guys are doing that, I'm going to continue assembling the car. You like the black? I think the black looks better, in my opinion. But. Nice part though, um, to say, Paula, if you're still watching, the nice part about this game is it kind of holds your hand. You can't really screw it up. So, this game, I think, is a great way to learn cars without actually having to have, you know, like physical hands on.
Because it at least shows you like where the parts go, what parts go do what. Like, I don't know, I think it's a really good way to learn. I don't think we bought brake pads. Actually, just in case. Yeah, I didn't think so. Because I also don't think we have brake calipers. Oh, yeah, we do. It is an amazing game. All right, let's see. I'm gonna need a front spring. So is that everybody agreeing with the black? So, so good, just so you know, this tool right here is probably, I think, one of the scariest tools I ever use when I'm working in a car. Because all it is is those two little metal flanges literally holding back several hundred pounds of pressure on a spring. Literally scares the hell out of me. And Rob, um, it varies on the car. So honestly, I don't know how much this one will sell for. Like, I know that the, um, the Bolt Atlanta will sell for around 55000 Not what I wanted to do. in the new guy machine i'm telling you dude they scare the hell out of me but i wouldn't trust a new guy to do it honestly i think that'd be even worse the scarier ones are the spring compressors that only use a bolt and a little oh god no no those things are terrible i know exactly which ones you're talking about Cause they also get stuck in the spring and you have to freaking um you have to like basically hammer it out those things are god awful all right so is everybody saying the black is that what we're sticking with No lie, dude. Those things are, yeah, way scarier. We will get a small bonus because we're putting performance tires on it, but it's not, it's not enough to be like, oh my God. Nope, nope. This is how you can tell I've been playing this too damn much. So, Paul, if you're still here, I can show you in a minute. 
Because we've also got some... They've basically changed a lot of the tools. So they have better looks. But at the same instance... Oh, I forgot to put a drive shaft in. And a gearbox. That's kind of important. Uh, starter. All right. That should be everything on the underside. So now we just need to finish up in here. All right, so I need a power steering reservoir, initial washer, radiator. What was that? Fuse box B? Yeah. That means we also need this. The battery. Don't forget your brake booster. Oh, it's all right here. Oh, and by the way, one of the other cool things I think is cool about this game is that when it comes to oil and coolant and stuff like that is you can actually feel like the different size of engines because of how long it takes for you to put all the oil into a car. Our steering reservoir is pretty much the same across the board, though. Because, Paul, if you're still here, windshield washer fluid is one of the new things. Same with power steering. All right, let's see if I forgot anything. Oh, the interior. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of important. Fill it with fresh Mountain Dew. Dude, I would totally rock it. All right, let's see here. Oh, actually, before we do that. Get that. Align the headlights. We 
There we go. We should see 145 horsepower. Should. Boom. We did a good job. Yeah, that was the other thing I thought was kind of cool is these fans will turn on when you run a dyno and then they turn off after you're finished. One of the small little things, but I thought it was cool. Damn it, I didn't want to get in the car. Oh, that looks weird. Leather in the back and cloth in the front. Yeah, I think we're going to take I think we're going to change that. Let's see. Here we go. These look vintage. And now they all match. That looks good. I really like that. All right, let's see how much we sell for. 46,000. Time for a test drive? Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Where do we want to go? The speed track, the test track, or the race track? Because we got the test track, the race track, and the speed track. Go racing. <laughs> Well, it ought to be interesting because this car doesn't have ABS, so I can lock up the brakes. <laughs> oh, it's so slow. so slow we're only doing like 70 80 mile an hour Oof. watch out for gambon turn <laughs> Yeah, I jumped it. Mm. 
You would never know this car just came from a junkyard. <laughs> Don't crash. Oh, I probably will. I'm just not very good with a keyboard. Also very twitchy, see? When you're playing on the keyboard, it's just so twitchy. <laughs> famous last words. No, I thought the famous last words was hang on, hold my beer. Yeah, that was slow as hell. <laughs> just out of curiosity, we can see about it. I'm doing it on the speed track too, just to see how fast it'd go. Is that a heavy car in real life? Um, I don't think so. Because if I remember right, the old school Camaros like this one, um, were like 3,000 pounds. They weren't very heavy. So I think the fastest I've done on this track was 230 something kilometers an hour. And that was in one of the Dodge Challengers, I think. Looks like we're about to hit top speed. Or the end of the track. <laughs> it took us all of that in order to get to 170 kilometers an hour. Gonna pull some John Wick moves. <laughs> What car was he driving? He was driving a Nova, wasn't he? In the first movie? Because I think he had a Mustang and a Nova, if I remember right. Those were the two cars he was driving in the first movie. Actually, cool. I didn't know this was in here. There's some old planes over here. Actually, let's see if we can do some John Wick. Let's see if we can do a J turn. That's close. Wasn't perfect, but it was close. All right. Get back and sell this car. That way we can start on our next car. Ooh, and I just made my next level. Nice. Bye-bye. I miss you, Camaro. Had to junk all the rec extra parts. Oh, that's way too many parts. I'm not going to make you guys suffer through that. Sell it.
Damn, we just made like 12,000 just in junk parts. All right. So what are we thinking next? So, uh, the El Camino or I, I, I don't know. I'm torn. I think this is a GTO, but it kind of looks like a Chevelle at the same time. All right, which one should we do? They both got V8s, so that's better. I just realized I was muted this whole time. My bad. <laughs> but yes, I, I like your idea, Aaron. Genius. But apparently they have two different versions of the Hellcat or a uh, Wildcat. Because they have a uh, 70 and a 71 listed. What's up, Patrick? How you doing, buddy? All righty. Get him over to the paint shop. Should we go with a cherry red pearl? Go something like that color. That's a cherry red pearl. Or. Or we can go matte. It's also metallic. But if we go metallic, we probably have to bring in the flag color a little bit more. Also, this chrome.
ba, ba. Oh, I like that pearl though. I'll let you guys decide because I think that looks really good right there. Pearl looks good. I thought so too. Does have a gear boss in it? Okay. Bum, bum, bum. Oh yeah, forgot we got an upgrade. I think this one would be beneficial. So that way, when we go to auctions, we can see how much the true value is of the car. The nice part is we'll be able to salvage a lot of these parts because they're not terribly beat up. I still think it's hilarious with the DW04 instead of WD40. <laughs> yeah, one other thing I think would be cool to see is if later on we can do like replacing the gears in a drivetrain. That way on the on the drag strip, if we want to, we could just like, you know, change out the gearing. I was also kind of bummed out because they took away the drag strip. That being said, is they also gave us a freaking racetrack instead, but I don't know, I think I would have preferred to keep the drag strip.
Wait, I don't recall us having wheel bearings in the rear end. Make sure there's no engine oil in the car. Glad I did that. All these damn rusted bolts, man. This is why it's extremely important for you to maintain your car or else you're going to have one pissed off mechanic. Like, well, I went to go do an oil change, but all your bolts were rusted shut. Rust is guaranteed here. Yeah, definitely. Actually, you know what? This would be a lot easier just putting it on the... Just gonna leave that there. It'd be a lot easier to work on on the engine stand. Because then I can rotate it. The nice part is, though, is this engine's pretty much all the way intact. So I'll be able to repair and use a lot of these parts. I got that one rocker arm. Look at all this rust. I don't think there's enough penetrating oil in the world. Well, even if you don't skip winter, I mean, as long as you take care of your car. Like by putting protection and stuff on it for the winter time. I would gladly skip winter. Snow, ice, and lots of salt. Yeah, you're right. I was in Virginia not too long ago, and I was always putting treatment on the bottom of my car to try and prevent as much of that as possible. for the long and boring part.
Oh, we only have six pages of parts. That's not terrible. Ah, oh, crap. I don't know what it was. I just broke. But you see what I mean about the 60% chance? Like, I don't think it's 60%. I think it's more like 10. Because if it was 60%, that would mean that three out of five parts that I repair should have a chance at instant repair. The leaf spring. Oh God. Oh, that's what I get for reading chat. <laughs> Just broke the knuckle how knuckle cover. That's kind of crappy though, because the leaf springs are like 200, I think. I think like 210 credits or something. So it's going to cut into the profit a little bit, but. Be all right. I wonder if they put the, the plus sign and the minus sign on there for the people that are colorblind. Because like I said, that wasn't there yesterday, so I think that was an update today. I do like how when you're repairing though it decreases the amount of red on every successful repair that way it's less likely of a chance of you failing because if you hit in the gray area, it just takes some credits away from you, and that's it. It doesn't take anything away from the part. But I do like the minigame more than I do on the random in 2018. Although the chances of repair on the, min on the minigame in 2018 felt a lot higher than this. Now to run the brakes. While we do that, we can be ordering parts. His eggs, 12. Yeah, go 14 just in case. I'm just ordering the stuff that I always that I know we need like all the time.
Ba -da -ba. But I can go ahead and order that leaf spring. Since I broke it, did it? And we also need that knuckle. What engine was in this? It was a V8 one carb. Okay. Oh. Well, that's a big old rip. That is an expensive part. I just want to check. Did we fix the fuel? Nope. So we need a fuel pump, fuel tank as well. Gotta go. Well, have a good one, Paula. Thanks for swinging by and enjoying the time here. Look forward to seeing you in future streams. keeping my shopping list empty that way I know what I've ordered and what I haven't ordered We need pistons. I think we'll need the OHVBs. Nope, never mind. Which also means we need rocker arms. Sixteen of those. Get some push rods. Fortunately, these parts are cheap. One thing I kind of feel weird, like honestly, about is that every one of these cars in this game, there is not a single automatic car. If you look, every one of them are autom are manuals. Which that's how you can tell that this car or this game was developed overseas. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I think it's cool. see like right here 
I think it'd be cool is if we could paint like the top of the block or the paint the block of the engine. That way we could uh, match the car. Oh yeah, we also need spark plugs. And we should... I think it'll be this one. not have another clip and I also didn't order my ignition coil Ugh. oof I thought it had a second head. Maybe it was just too gone that we couldn't repair it. Maybe. I guess Paul went back to work. glad though that they haven't done a lot of things in this game like some of it would be ultra realistic if for example you had to actually like torque in order I don't think I have one of those is our engine add in busting your knuckles and swearing <laughs> totally right all right so what I think would look really good on this car is if we get some old-school muscle wheels Where are they at? <laughs> there we go. Kind of what I was looking for.
Oh, crap. Did we ever... We didn't take apart the tires. Nope. Two oh five seventy five fourteen. Go with these again. forgot about the brakes or did we already do the brakes box base B and a battery actually I think we nope we didn't repair the other one Coming together, chat. I do what I think I did. I don't think I put an oil pan on the engine. Nope. Sure as hell didn't. And I'm going to need five more rod caps. And one crank, uh, crankshaft bearing. So relaxing though, just putting together an engine without all a headache.
And I don't think this car had a starter. Yeah, I didn't think so. Oh, we still need to buy those. And wheel bearings. Yep. We need another one of these. That's why um, when I was growing up, my stepdad used to always say, he's like, you can't be a preacher and be a mechanic because you just cuss way too much. He's not wrong, though. There ain't no telling how many times I cussed up a storm, man. Especially working on the damn Trans Am. need two spring caps.
Alright, let's see. surprised there's no bearings back here though there should be two bearings What am I doing? I just bought parts that we didn't even need. I forgot that this isn't... <laughs> it's not a double wishbone car. Uh... Damn it. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, I forgot this is a solid rear end car. So we don't need those rear springs and stuff that I bought. Not gonna lie, Rob. I miss having MC around. Whoa, we ain't not putting that piece of junk in there. I also think a, a small little thing that they could do is also where you have to refuel cars since you're working at a gas station. I mean, I, I think it makes sense. Actually, Rob, we turned this one around relatively cheap. I think this whole car only costs like 20,000. Make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Oh yeah, we still gotta do the interior. I keep forgetting about the interior. Rob, what tag do you want to put on it? Or anybody in chat, for that matter. We're going to do Mississippi, New York, New Jersey, Red Dot City. <laughs> step one, collect underpants. Step two. What's step two? Might as well get red plates with a red car. Oh, Jax, you want Rhode Island? Okay. 
You can save these for another car then. Just for Jax. this out in front of the garage so that way we can do the interior oh wow it doesn't have crap in here What interior? Eh, it didn't have anything. Does now. Sounds good. I forgot to do an alignment. <clears throat> Finish the test track. Whoa, was that the first time I've ever done the test track? Oh. Just a few dances. It'll be all right. There we go. Now it's got an alignment. All right, let's see. 51,000. That's not bad. Not bad. 12 pages of parts. That's just bananas. All right, so I have an idea. I want to try and find a Dodge Charger so that we can custom build it. The only catch is, is I wouldn't want to sell it because I'd want to keep it. So it's going to bite into profit. See if we can find a charger.
Mostly just because I think it would look badass. There's a challenger. Oh, a Lamborghini. That's going to be expensive. Should we do a Lamborghini? I think we should do a Lamborghini. Oh, she is beat up. Oh, immersion dissolved. He doesn't have Lambo doors. But the nice part about this was it would is that the car is all there. And it would sell for a lot of money. What do you guys think? You think we should buy it? Yeah, because all the parts on it are actually not bad. So it'd be relatively easy to fix. So is that so is that a yes that we're buying the Lamborghini? It's probably going to be expensive. I would guesstimate it's probably going to be 70 or 80,000 for the auction. Maybe even more. The other nice part is I've never done a Lambo in this game. So it'd be different. Oh yeah. Look at that gated transmission. <laughs> so good. Mirrors hanging out of the mirror. Look at that. <laughs> what? There's no oil in the car. Oh, lovely. All right, guys, let's see how much this goes for. Estimated value, 80,000. What did I tell you? Hopefully we can get it for less than that. It's my car. Give it up. It's my car. You sum them up. Ah, well, a little over market value, but it'll be worth it, I think. And this car right here, the one that looks like a Dodge Challenger, I actually bought one of these last time, and I think it was about 95000 when I fixed it all up. Oh, and it's got the custom headlights. I think this was about 95000 when I fixed it last time. And it's in really good shape. Oh, it's a supercharged version. Damn. This is a supercharged version. By the way, for any of you guys that are planning on buying this game... This is the easiest way to level up right here. Because you get easy XP for every part that you examine. It gives you one experience point. And on most cars, it's only like they have like 50 or so parts. So it's like 50 XP every time you do this.
Uh, I wonder how much this is going to go for. Because we could possibly get both of them. Possibly. Because if this runs for like 50,000, we could do it. And this car is really not in bad shape, so it's probably going to go for a lot. But I'm thinking for the Lambo, we definitely have to do that, that Diablo yellow. Or black. Just see. Estimated value fifty thousand. Yeah. What do you guys think? Think we should buy both of them? Because we repair both of these. I mean, that'd be probably in the rain in the neighborhood of like three hundred thousand for both cars. Probably. <laughs> Thank you, Jax. Well, if y'all will give me just one moment, I need to go use the restroom, and I will be right back, and we can grab this car. Hopefully, we get it for cheaper than 50000 but I doubt it. Time to pop open a uh, nice, cold, crisp Mountain Dew. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can nab this car. Because if worse comes to worse, we can repair the uh, the bolt and sell it if we need extra money. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, y'all are going there, aren't you? a skyline ah oh, I didn't even see the skyline the skylines are another car that are really good like those are all valuable cars but unfortunately I don't have the money for it now so thought you were gonna say beer <laughs> that's kind of what I was going for <laughs> Now the nice part is, is we're not going to have to buy a lot of parts for these cars because they're not that bad of shape.
That actually looks really cool. You will go on lifter one. Dude, that grill, that, that bumper setup looks good. I like that. Like this car right here is really not that bad. All right. Lamborghini and a Challenger. I think this is a screenshot moment right here. I don't know how to do photo mode, though. Does anybody know how to do photo mode? Because I saw Nima using it yesterday, but I don't know how to do it. Wait, does this game support DLSS? Oh, there for a sec. Oh, turn that crap off. Scroll wheel on the right side. Oh! Thank you. Hell yeah. There we go. Yeah, thanks. That's awesome. Thank you. All right, which one should we do first? The Challenger or the Lamborghini? So I'm gonna let you guys decide. I'm really excited that we got two cars though. Because both of these cars should be making making them really good profit. I went slightly over their value initially, but I think it'll be all right. Not to mention for the Lambo. I have a brand new engine. So, let's see. Yep, right there. Nope, that's not it. Never mind, right here. That's a brand new engine block. Just sitting there for it. I don't think we can repair tail lights. I don't think. This is a big old rip. But 
The fun part is, is I've never worked on one of these before, so I have literally no idea what I'm doing. I wonder if the headlights would fall under the parts category. Nope. So what other part did I fix? Was that it? All right, make sure my shopping list is clear. I think we basically have to buy everything for this car. Did I literally just buy the same exact hood? I sure as hell did. That kind of looks cool the way it is right now. Kind of like having that black in the middle like that. That's kind of cool. Ah, damn it. Wrong place. The paint shop. I like that. go should have a version of this for cyberpunk yeah, that'd be dope i like that that looks really good i think you know just out of curiosity i want to see what it looks like blue oh actually i think i like the blue more Doggo, thank you for subscribing, my dude. Oh, hell yeah, there we go. Get a chameleon blue. Oh, Jesus, I've already burned through a lot of money already. Just to. Oh, my God. All right, well, it's staying yellow. <laughs>
I might not have the money to do this car. Not right now, at least. I might need to do the bolt first. Huh. Yeah, I think for the time being... Yeah. Huh. That's kind of a pickle. I didn't think about that. I don't know, we'll see. Let me just see. Out of curiosity. Finally able to catch a live stream, even though it's been <laughs> two hours late. Oh, whatever, B takes. You're here, it's all that matters. But how you doing, my dude? We bought a Lambo. And we might not have enough money to fix it. <laughs> I am doing good, Tiggs. Absolutely outstanding. Dude, I'm so lost on this car because I really have no idea what I'm doing on this car. That does not sound good. <laughs> Yeah, I am so lost. Yeah, let's try it anyway. The thing that's gonna be really expensive on this car is the tires. Yeah, Tiggs, so now I can tell Derby that I bought a Lambo. <laughs> I kind of feel bad, though, because Derby and them have been struggling when it comes to money. Well, not Derby so much as Nima. But it's just, uh, just, just gotta learn. That's all it is. Because I think this is actually Nima's first time ever doing any of the freaking car mechanic sim games. If I recall. Yeah, it takes this game is fun, but I would be lying if I said I wasn't addicted to it. Hell, it's it's right there. Why can't I access it from underneath the car? Wait, so does this thing have two fuel pumps? Oh my god, it does. This thing has two freaking fuel bumps. 
I have Tame Saint. Tank Simulator. Good lord. Tank Simulator isn't the same people. Um, I think it is actually. Oh, it's different devs. I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was still Playway. They did the uh, Tank Sim too, but I was wrong. Oh man, I just got to thinking about it. These pistons. Oh, I gotta buy twelve pistons. Yeah, I might not have enough to build this car. I guess I got greedy by buying two cars at the auction. I mean, if worse comes to worse, we can do some story missions and get some money back. But I also know it'll only cost me about 20 grand to fix the, uh, the Bolt Atlanta that's sitting out there. Do the other car first. Well, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna see. Cause I should be able to repair all of these parts with the exception of like your non reusable parts, such as like the pistons, the, the wheel bearings, the brake pads, like that kind of stuff. I should be able to do most of it, if not all of the car. Cause I think to every repairs on all of this stuff, it'll probably cost me 15 grand. Probably. Which should just leave us enough money to buy new tires. Cause this should, this car is gonna have thick boys. I would probably guesstimate that it has like 305s on it. And they're probably staggered too. Because fortunately, a lot of this stuff we don't really have to, like, spend money on. Because stuff like the repairing the brakes, the battery, the, those are all can be free repair because of the battery charger and, um, and the brake lathe. Imagine having a rusty Lamborghini. Let's see. Let me just see. Oh, actually, these are not that bad. 245. Yep, see, that's what I was saying. It's staggered. So the two rears are 18-inch 18, 18 wheels with 335s, whereas the fronts are 245s with 17-inch wheels. That's what I thought. But if we finish this, it should make a really good profit. Throw that on the charge.
repair all these damn parts. I'm telling you, I think they really need to look at that 60% chance because it is not 60%. Actually, what am I doing? I got a repair bench literally right here. Is this way I can multitask? I mean, from what I can see, though, Nima's doing a really good job at being her first time basically doing anything with cars. So. Oh, my God, this is so mind numbing. But it is so much cheaper than actually buying the parts themselves. to have a lot more parts on the car to take off and repair. Three pages left. Just hopefully I don't fail any of the big number parts. Because that would suck. I do like that name though, Black Doggo. It's just awesome. Kind of makes me wish it back in the day. I came up with some cool YouTube name. Y'all see what I mean, though, about the 60%? Like, it's not 60%. Because I should be getting them at, like, three out of five times. I should be. All right. Get the battery from the charging station. Separate these out, even though I can't use them.
Get the engine puller. This is going to be fun. I honestly wonder if this is what it's really like working on a Lamborghini. If so, I don't want any part of it. Two throttles. Are you kidding me? All the newer cars are like that. So much to take off to do something small. Oh, for real, right? So I remember back when I was with my ex, man. <clears throat> or one of my exes, rather. She had this Chrysler 300M. And in order to replace it in her tie rod, I had to take a, basically take apart her entire upper half on her engine. Because I had to take apart her throttle body, one of her heads, like all this crap just to get to a freaking in inner tie rod. But I also wasn't going to take it to somebody and have them do it because I knew what I was doing. Oh, actually, that's where all the money's going to be right there. Those freaking ignition coils. We should be fine, though. I think we'll have plenty of money to do this car. And then sell it for a hefty profit. Oh my god, that light is so bright. You say I hate these long bolts like this because in real life they are just a huge pain. You'll be sitting there wrenching for days.
This camshaft looks toast. And besides, Tiggs, you act like it's your first time ever in one of my streams. All right, let's see how much all this is going to cost. I could have swore you've been in one of the streams before. Maybe I'm just too used to seeing Rob's name in here all the time. Confusing the wrenches. Every time you stream, I've been out. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I also try not to stream around like the same times that Derby and Nima do. Because I don't want there to be that like, you know, back and forth for people. Oh, yeah, yeah. Literally, this part of the game is just mind numbing. While I do enjoy that they give us a chance at physically controlling how much we repair an item, it's just, ugh. I'm just curious how much it's going to cost to repair that engine block. Well, that's not bad. That's probably going to cost about 1,200 credits. That's good when you do repairs. I check out Drunken Farmer Nima stream. Got it. Well, I was just talking about mainly, like, just in general, because it's just so mind numbing. What's up, Lewis? How you doing, my dude? parts man <laughs> oh no
think we need 24 of these. I'm just going to go with 12. I think it was 12 per side. Nope, it was 10 per side. Just got out of work. I don't know. I'm doing great, man. Working on a Lamborghini. Like, what more could I ask for? Because we scored two cars out of the auction. Maybe we get lucky and we'll be able to score enough profit off of these in order to make even more. Or to buy even more. Uh, is a V12 actually? We need eight more of these. Four cam gears. This is a lot of parts on this engine. I'm actually curious as to what the most expensive vehicle is in the game. Fix or sell both. <laughs> what type of Lambo? Um, it's like a Diablo.
I can show you in a minute once I get this engine built. Yeah, with normal doors. <laughs> Damn right, Rob. I was like, even on the Diablo, it had Lambo doors. Kind of a bummer. I think I need to buy all of this stuff. Because those are non reusable parts. Uh, have to buy him over again. Wait, what? Oh, okay. And while we're in here, might as well get a belt tensioner. I think that's it. I don't see any other parts that I can mess around with. So yeah, I think that's it. I not put in a fuel filter. Where the hell is a fuel filter? I thought I bought one. Nope, I guess not. parts I have to fix. How many of you are actually planning on buying this game when it comes out tomorrow? Wait, does this thing not have a brake servo? How much is it? I used to work for Napa Auto for 15 years. I'm actually not sure how much this is.
Because if it's anything like the other games, it's probably going to be $29.99. But I'm really not sure. I think it was $25. Yeah, it sounds about right. <clears throat> it's like, as most of their games have not been very expensive. Yeah, I guess this thing doesn't have a brake servo. Oh, it's up front. I think it's up front. Yep, that's what it is. And it's a brake booster. I said five for the DLC. Oh, nice. So all in all, a very reasonable price. Good like they, I mean, they, <clears throat> from what I can tell is that they're not very like out for your money. A lot like EA and stuff is. But I think it's also because Playway is going towards a very niche market. All right, three, I need two of these. Three of these. Three of these. And three of these. I'm finally off work. Well, welcome to the real world, Jax. <laughs> Where, you, where is it that you live, Jax? <clears throat> oh, goodness. And we still gotta buy tires, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Work from home is just a move of my chair. <laughs> oh, apparently I have four fuel pumps. Double wishbone shock absorber rear.
Ah, crap. Uh-oh. Did I put that on the right part? Okay, I did. Yeah, but Jax, weren't you out here in Cali? I don't know, long time, been in Florida for far too long. Oh, rip. Wait, actually, where's the sway bar back here? I didn't see a sway bar. I don't think that would be very Lamborghini style without a sway bar. Although, I mean, having 335s on the rear, yeah, that's a pretty, pretty beefy. We're going to have plenty of money left over. I don't know what I was so worried about.
Got him, coach. All right. How much do you guys think this car is going to sell for? Let me get your guesses in chat. All right, so I need 245, 40, 17s. I said they, I did say 245, 45, 17, right? Eighty K. Oh, Rob, what the hell? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's what I said, right? 245, 40, 17. And I think the other one was like a 335, 335, 35, 18. The hell? It won't even let me get that size. It won't even let me get that size. Weird. So why can I not get that size? Looks like we're getting uh 330 or 325s then. And I'm thinking closer to Jax. All right, so that's the 245. Too bad you can't balance wheels like this in real life. Make sure we get the right tire.
You know, honestly, the one thing I keep forgetting pretty much every time. Oh, I missed that intercooler. I totally missed those intercoolers. I am glad I saw that. There we go. Now I can fill it up. Just realize, chat, we have to take this on the racetrack. We, we just have to. Now where, where do we fill the oil? Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of important. Oh yeah, thanks Aaron, I'm glad you reminded me. It's probably trash. not have an oil pan <laughs> oh my god I literally didn't put anything on underneath this thing <laughs> I love that one Here I was thinking that we were finished. I am really still proud of myself about that dancing lemon thing. I think it's funny as hell. You got them Bluetooth rod bags? <laughs> Invisalign oil pan. Yeah, right. It's all right. We're fixing it now. Good Lord. Look at that beefy oil pan, though. Holy crap. Now we can fill up the oil. All right. Let's check the car. Let's see if I'm missing anything. Hey, it's all the interior. The oh, fuck? Rear window.
All right, well, we got that fixed. <laughs> Move it out front so that way we can do the interior. Now we should be ah freaking license plate. Is there one up here too? No. Okay. Now are we hundred on everything? Yes, we are. All right, 2.04 is our best lap time. So let's see if we can beat that. Oh yeah, damn it. <laughs> Thanks, Jax. I think this is why I need you guys, because I always forget shit. Always. Or else I would have been looking like some sort of dipshit out there. Oh God, it was way off. Let's try this again. Thank you, Jax. There's a lot of oversteer. Or is it just drifting?
It'll buff out, yeah. <laughs> Oh, if anything, it's just going to increase the value, Rob. Because then you can say, oh, it had a legit racing accident, you know? Just, it's a race car. Damn it! It's <laughs> track tested, right? <laughs> well, you're not wrong. <laughs> Just had to even it out a little bit, you know? to get squirrely. I'm doing better on this one, though. There we go. A little bit better. Let's see here. It'd be funny if it was actual damage, like if I like when I hit the wall, if it actually damaged the car. I'm just gonna double check. Nope, everything's still still green. All right, now for the speed track. Two thirty-eight is our highest. Let's see if we can beat that with this car.
on 270. Let me race one of them airplanes. fine it's totally fine it's fine totally fine all right so what what do we say here yeah like 120 150 that's what we were thinking somewhere in that range yeah see it's totally fine it's totally fine it's nothing wrong nothing wrong with it nothing wrong with it at all i i kind of almost don't want to get rid of this car now <laughs> yeah it's like i don't know all right let's see 450 horsepower oh it's factory tire sizes 245 40 17. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Two hundred thousand dollars. There it is. Oh boy. Yeah, that fattened up the bank account a little bit. Just a little bit. Holy crap. Alrighty. Well, I think this is actually where I'm gonna wrap up for now. So yeah. Uh... Well, thank you guys for 19 likes. You guys are freaking amazing. I want to see if there's anybody else. Yeah, actually, Nemo's. Nemo's over there playing Farmer's Life. So. Taking all the booze. Don't really know what she's doing, and... but if you guys would be so kind, there we go. go over there. He's still so unhappy. Just as important to Nima. Tell her a lemon raid. The Lemon King sent you. Mug. However you want to put it. Let's see. But thank you guys all for tuning in. I look forward to doing more streams and more videos here shortly. So thank you again for your continued support. I'll see you guys oh, in the next video. With... Have a good one. Can I still get that ash with a bucket? Let me...